In this video, we're going to be talking about ordinal collapsing functions. Let's have the set S. This contains the elements 0, 1, omega, and capital omega. And then we have the set C0. This contains addition, multiplication, and exponentiation. I'll call that AME for short. We do AME to the elements of set S. But we can only do it a finite number of times. And then we have Psi X. This is defined as the smallest ordinal which is not a member of CX. Because we have C0, we have a Psi0. Let's see which ordinal is not a member of C0. We have 1. And we can perform addition to it a finite number of times. But luckily, we have Omega. We can add omega, we can multiply omega, and even exponentiate omega, but only a finite number of times. If we exponentiate omega to itself an infinite number of times, we get epsilon naught. So epsilon naught is our first ordinal not constructible with C0. So this is our psi 0. If we have C1, this will contain C0 in union with Psi0. What this means is that we have the AME of all the elements of C0, including Psi0. We can add Psi0, we can multiply Psi0, and we can even exponentiate Psi0, but only a finite number of times. And as we've known, Psi0 is the same as Epsilon0. If we exponentiate Epsilon0 an infinite number of times, this creates Epsilon1. So this is our Psi1. If we do C2, this will include everything in C1, including Psi1. In general, we can say that Cx contains everything all the way to Psi x minus 1. If we do C omega, this will contain all the size with the finite numbers. If we do C omega plus 1, this will contain everything up to Psi omega. If we do C zeta naught, this will contain all the finite nestings of epsilons. Now we can create Psi Zeta Naught, right? Wrong. Because Zeta Naught itself is not a member of C Zeta Naught. C Zeta Naught contains only up to series of nested epsilons, but not Zeta Naught itself. So if we do Psi Zeta Naught or higher, this will just equal to Zeta Naught. So how do we get bigger if zeta naught is the limit? Let's take a look at capital omega. Capital omega will always be a member of set C. So if we do C omega, this will also only contain up to the finite nestings of epsilons. Because omega is a member of set C, we can create psi omega. This is also going to be just equal to zeta naught. If we do psi omega plus 1, this is going to be equal to epsilon zeta naught plus 1. If we have a plus 2, this will be epsilon zeta naught plus 2. If we do psi omega plus a, this is equal to epsilon zeta naught plus a. But this only works when a is lesser than zeta 1. So we add another capital omega to create zeta 1. 
if we do omega times 2 plus 1, we will have epsilon zeta 1 plus 1. If we add another omega, this will create zeta 2. This can also be written as omega times 3. If we do omega times a, this will be zeta a minus 1. But if we multiply by an ordinal, the index will be the ordinal itself. But if we want an infinite nesting of zetas, we multiply by omega. This can also be written as omega squared. This is also equal to a naught. If we do omega cubed, this will be an infinite nesting of eras. This can also be written as 540. So if we do psi omega to the a, we get phi a plus 1, 0. But if we want an infinite nesting of phi's, we exponentiate it to omega. If we do omega to the omega times a, this is equal to gamma a minus 1. If we want an infinite nesting of gammas, we multiply it by omega. Because we have one sur exponent of omega, this can be written as omega plus 1, according to the rule of exponents. If we do omega to the omega plus a, this will be phi 1a0. If we do omega times a, this will be a0,0. If we multiply it by omega, we add another argument. If we do omega cubed, we add another argument. If we have lowercase omega star exponent, this will have omega arguments. This is also known as the small Veblen ordinal. If we put capital omega as our exponent, this will be the large Veblen ordinal. We can keep exponentiating omegas like this, but only a finite number of times. If we do it an infinite number of times, we reach our next ordinal, which is the Backman-Howard ordinal, or BHO for short.